And let's get right to it. We've got George C. Annandale, Capital Founder, and Paul Hickey, Bespoke Founder, here with us. Uh, George, we just about given up the week's gains on the S&P. It's not that earnings news has been bad, but Alphabet and Meta just haven't been enough to pull the rest of the market higher. So are the results that we're going to get this afternoon and evening, moments from now, going to be enough to change the sentiment? I mean, Intel, Ford, T-Mobile, Mondelez, they're smaller. Yeah, hi, John. You know, none of these companies are market movers anymore. Intel used to be, but hadn't been for almost 20 years now. And Ford probably hasn't been since the 60s or 70s. So, no, they're not going to change the trajectory of the market. And we, the Fed really has so far at least stuck the landing on, on their tightening. They really have engineered a softer landing, not a harder landing. But, you know, the market's priced that in. And I think people are starting to wake up, smell the coffee, and realize we've come really, really far. And I think we're going to get a little vertigo here in the next three or four months. All right, uh, Paul, less than a week ago, you called out a line as one to watch, I think as a triple play, and brace yourself, it's up 13.5% uh, just today. NXP also did well, which is when you called out. Lamb Weston did not. What's catching your eye, and what are the themes that you see continuing to emerge this earnings season? Well, so I think, um, you know, what we highlighted in those reports was in a uh, you know, line to see if, the consumer was, you know, pushing back on these premium out-of-pocket purchases, which Align's earnings suggest that that hasn't been happening. And in Lamb Weston, what you know, these companies, these consumer food package companies, have been pushing through price increases nonstop the last few quarters, expanding margins with little pushback on the part of consumers. Lamb Weston, in their conference call, noted that uh, the environment for increasing prices going forward may not be as favorable as it has been in the past. And you see what happened to that stock. So you are starting to see some pushback from consumers. They're not just going to, you know, keep paying higher prices for, you know, you can't pay $10 for a bag of French fries like I was highlighting on Friday. You know, maybe $7 is the limit that people are willing to pay. So that'll be interesting to see in Mondelez's earnings how they're talking about pricing actions going forward. Are they still able to, do they think, raise prices um, you know, okay. without making 